Hello guys, in this quick video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 on a computer and activate it using a Windows 7 or 8 key. Ok, so here is the USB thumb drive <laughs> or a USB uh, thumb SSD in my case, uh, plug it in, power on the laptop and depending on your particular setup I have a few videos you might need to enter the boot options menu to boot from that but this particular laptop when it doesn't find an operating system on the hard drive it boots directly from USB so it booted directly from this and we simply continue to install Windows. Nothing more, nothing less. Again, in your situation, this uh, might require pressing some buttons at the boot up. A search through my videos, I have a lot on different, a lot of those type of videos on different models of laptops, so and computers, and you will probably find one that suits you. In case you don't, you can find uh, online. Okay, at this point, I will just do simple uh, Windows settings you do not enter any key at any point so I will uh, just show you the most important steps normally language to install uh, depending on where you are in my case I will leave it uh, English United Kingdom I will set it to my home country for the time and currency but the keyboard needs to be uniting Kingdom once again because this is a laptop from UK. So next at this point install now. Maybe it's a good idea to have a better view of the display itself. And at this point simply click on let me try and zoom maybe you will see a bit a bit better this message right here. This is the most important step. Don't input any key at this point. Simply click on I don't have a product key. And the setup will continue. Here it depends on whatever version of Windows you want to install. I will uh, install Windows 10 Pro because I have a Windows 7 Pro key. So it depends on what key you have on the back of your laptop or what key you have in the BIOS in the case of Windows 8. So if you had Windows 8 Pro key in the BIOS, you bought a Windows 8 Pro laptop at one point, uh, then also choose Windows 10 Pro. Same for Windows 7 Pro. They are not uh, interchangeable, so you need to be careful about the version. Okay, next. And at this point probably I will set up uh, my partitions if I remember correctly. Not 100% sure. Yeah, custom install. I don't want to keep files or whatever on this thing. So I can actually see that there is some uh, this is the uh, USB thumb drive, actually the SSD that I'm booting from and the drive in this uh, computer at this point already has some kind of uh, operating system on it which I need to uh, delete. I'm not really sure what uh, OS this is and I don't really care at this point but it is probably some Windows 7 or something like that. I just want to delete all the partitions uh, on, the, on drive 0. This is the hard drive that I want to install Windows on. In your case maybe you can simply use on your Windows partition the format option and then simply install on that one. I will delete everything and recreate the partitions from scratch. Because 
it might be a Windows 7 install on that drive and I don't want to have anything uh, related to it. So new megabytes, uh, eh, let me do a quick calculation and see what size I want. Ok, so I want about 180 gigs for uh, Windows drive and the rest uh, up to the 500 gigs of this hard drive will be for uh, data. So uh, 180 times uh, 1024 and this is what I need to input here. So let's get to it. So I get an exactly 180 gig partition. 184, 3. Sometimes it's better to add just a little bit more. So normally it's 320, but I will put 350. Just to be sure. A, a bit more. <laughs> a really small percentage is it's good to add it so you get uh, uh, exact size partitions like this uh, 32 gigs. It's 32.0. And as you can see here, <laughs> Windows does a stupid thing which I uh, actually hate a lot. In this case it took from my particular partition to create its own partitions. So I need to make my partition 0.6 gigs bigger to have an exact size. And I hate this. I don't think it always does this. It depends exactly on what sorts of install you are uh, you are making so I will enter that number once again plus uh, 0.6 just to to be sure that I get what I want be back when when it's entered okay second try let's see what we actually get Hopefully this time we get a full number. Everything that you see here you can skip if you already know how to install Windows. Don't bother watching this. Ok, we have a perfectly sized C drive. And now for the rest of it for the data part of the drive a simple partition which we also want to format so it's recognized directly when we boot Windows for the first time if not we would need to format it in Windows ok and this is the partition where we want to install Windows let's click next and at this point standard Windows installed so I will be back in when something different happens Ok, let's do just a few basic settings now. Normally you will do this the way you want them, but if you want to do them the way I do them, why not? I will connect to a Wi-Fi now. Ok, it should uh, do a few settings at this point. Ok, other settings. Offline account. Nope. T440 in my case. No password. You can obviously set a password for yourself if you want to. No speech recognition. Nope. No location. Nope. Obviously again, basic, accept. You can do this any way you want them. This is how I do them. Doesn't mean that uh, uh, Microsoft will uh, not still 
uh, get informations for me from me and uh, anyway Google has all the informations from me already but yeah this is the way I, I like to set up Windows although again Google has way more informations uh, from all of us than Microsoft uh, ever uh, will so yeah we do let some get information and others know just because uh, everybody uh, talks on forums that we shouldn't let Microsoft get anything from us but we will still let Google get everything anyway this is rent this will continue but next we will be booted directly into Windows okay so if you have a Windows 7 key on the back of your uh, laptop or computer search for uh, system click on it nope not this one then search for control panel click on it and in here select large icons and this is the system that we actually need click on it and you can see Windows is not activated and we go to activate Windows let's make this full screen and it has uh, this is the default key so we need to go to change product key click on it and you need to enter the key from the back of your laptop or computer or under the battery depends on your uh, particular system okay enter the key click next and hope for the best this might take a bit of time depends on the load on the Microsoft uh, servers, servers themselves I don't think uh, it depends too much on your uh, internet connection because this doesn't really transfer that much uh, data so activate Okay, as you can see, Windows 10 was activated with a Windows uh, 7 key from the back of this laptop. This still shows it's not activated, but if we go, uh, I should have uh, clicked back. Actually, now I have the possibility to add the, the desktop icons because until you activate it it will not uh, allow you so let's go to teams uh, desktop icon settings and now we can add everything that we want come on this touchpad isn't that awesome okay now I can close this and I can right click and hit properties and it should say that it is activated Ta -da. so again you can activate windows 10 uh, in 2018 at almost the end of the year with a windows 7 key i will just show you briefly the key on the back of this laptop so you can see that it was the same with the one that i entered to activate windows 10 so there's no trickery or something like that involved okay that's the key I will hide part of, the, of it obviously okay so you might be thinking okay enough about this uh, what about uh, Windows 8 we don't have a key for Windows 8 anywhere on the case well look at this Toshiba Z30 which has a Windows 8 Pro license on it and no key anywhere to be found so the key for this thing is stored in the BIOS itself we will run a little program named ProduKey 
be back in a second when I start it from this USB, USB drive and I will put a link to it in the description of this video. Ta -da! This is Produkey and you can see here Windows BIOS OEM. So the first key is the one stored in the BIOS and that is the one that you need to input where before we put the Windows uh, 7 key and it will activate with this key stored in the BIOS of the laptop. Maybe you are even lucky and Windows 10 searches for it by itself in the BIOS and activates by itself. It does that with Windows uh, eight, uh, 10 keys, not if Windows 10 keys, but with an older version, even if it's in the BIOS, I do not know if it will take it by itself. But with this key, you can enter it by yourself as we entered the Windows 7 one. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. You can actually activate uh, Windows 10 copy with Windows 7 or Windows uh, 8 and 8.1 key in 2008 at almost the end of the year probably in 2019 will be the same but just make sure it's the correct uh, Windows version so pro with pro home with home whatever so yeah that's about it for this video thank you very much for uh, watching it uh, I hope it has helped you in uh, which case please give it a like check out my other videos subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one bye